All right, it is time to approach our next exercise. So I'm going to scroll down to the unit modules. And we are doing, following our course outline, we are now going to get introduced to vector shapes. We just did a custom uh, line art kind of book illustration. Now we're going to use that same book as inspiration for a custom emoji. Some past examples. The difference between a line art composite and an emoji is an emoji uses shapes, filled in colored shapes. And we're going to start today with making something with this online program called Emoji Maker. And then we're going to go into Photoshop and learn how to customize with the vector shape tools in Photoshop. You can see them outlined there to make our own improved version of this simple one we can make on Emoji Maker. So here are some examples. You can see some past videos. And for the, the demo here, we're still working off of the same band book title. This was my emoji example for The Hate You Give. And eventually, we end up with something like that, right? But we start with this really simple program which is emojimaker.com. So go ahead and use this link for it. So emojimaker.flat-icons.com. And it's a really simple interface. First, it's going to give you just a random one to start with. So you want to see the different features. So you have control over the background the background shape and the background color. I want you to start thinking about vectors as cutouts of paper, right? Like construction paper and you have cookie cutters for it. So I can make it a poop background. I can make it a monkey background. I can make it a cowboy or a clown. I think this is a fire hydrant, you know, whatever it might be, or a skull. What is my book? My book is Cat's Cradle. I have given this no thought at all. What the uh, emoji might be for it, I can scroll. I use this because there's not limitless variations, like in real emojis. Like I'm, I don't have a cat head here, but I could see how I could turn this maybe into a cat head. But I've already used purple horns, so let's see. I think I'm going to use this one, the mind blown, because of the atomic bomb thing. Okay, the next is the eyes. I'm going to get rid of the, uh, you can turn them on and you can turn them off. So I'm just going to click off on these tiers. Ah, where is it? So basically, you choose what you want, and you can even double them up. And they'll be dark gray when you select them. And you kind of have to find the random ones they gave you and turn them off. For some reason, I'm not finding them. There they are. You can play with the mouse. My book's kind of a tragedy, so I'm going to get rid of the happy mouse. And you don't even get to move the, the things around, right? But you can layer them up in different ways. Kind of like the tongue out. And then last are the, the kind of accessories to the head. So I can give it like a Pinocchio nose, rosy cheeks, seam. They added a face mask since the pandemic. I thought that was nice. I can give it the cat whiskers. Now, this will just be the start of the process. We're going to learn how to modify this. But anything we choose here, we're going to recreate within Photoshop using vector shape tools. Oh, I like the icicles. Yeah. So I think this will work, except I want to change the eyes. 
And then I'm just going to do a screen grab of this guy. And that's what we'll start with at the beginning of next class. And remember, you can layer up multiples, right? So you can layer up the whites of the eyes and then the insides of the eyes. That's kind of nice. And it matters what, what order you put them in. So if I want the cat's whiskers to be on top of everything, I need to choose that last. So I'll just unclick it and click it again. And if I want the icicles to be on top of everything, I click that last. So because I want the icicles on top of the eyes and the cat whiskers on top of the icicles, that's good. That's going to be my, my base. And then I can see, do I want a different background? Do I want a puking background? No. That, that might work, but not for my idea. All right. So once I have it, I'm going to just do a simple screen grab and then put that into my folder for exercise two. And that is where I will start making my custom emoji. I'm going to learn how to make these shapes in Photoshop. And I will see you guys. Have a good weekend.